All right, this is a 2017 Ford Focus RS. You guys might remember Eric from the Mazda Speed 3 review. Uh, he ditched that because he knows Ford is best. <laughs> Even though they're, you know, at the time they're the same company, but you know. Yeah. Uh, this car for quite a while, he was on a wait list. He had to drive down to St. George to go pick it up. All right, now that this guy's out of the way, come on, move, go, go. All right, let's see power. Third gear. Oh boy, it's, it's good. That is a very illegal speed we went. Oh, oh man. Oh, this is, this is illegal. I'd get so much trouble with this car. And the handling matches how much power you can put down. The way the chassis is able to put it down, it, it keeps up. It doesn't. It doesn't overthrow. Like sometimes you get those cars that have so much power and they move quick, but you gotta be slowing down a lot to be able to keep it tame in the corners. Also, no, this car you can throw it in and get really aggressive and go really fast in it. Oh man, just give it a second. Turbo kicks in. Oh, it, it kicks you in the ass. It's stupid fast. The car feels like confident, inspiring enough that I could just hold it top of third gear around this corner. We'll let off a little bit, but. Man, this car doesn't break a sweat going around corners. It's not. that I'm nowhere near the limit of what this car can do. And it, it just, it asks for it. It feels like a car that's caged. Like, like it, needs, it needs open roads and sweeping corners. Oh, those, those pops are good. But man, it just hooks. It just hooks. You give it more. It, it, it can take so much. I haven't had to use the brakes yet. <laughs> We're gonna use them now though. And the brakes are nice and firm. As soon as you get into them, they're, they're really responsive. <laughs> Man, that is so fun to just get on, let off before the corner and hear a little pop coming out. Heel toe and getting some pops out the back is the best thing in the world. All right, I have another second gear pull. This is probably wild. <laughs> Man, it pops every time. It's so perfect. I love it. Oh, I love this car so much. This is such a good car. I can't, I can't find anything wrong with it other than I don't own one. <laughs> like, all right, let's 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 consider the price point. What, about 40 grand, right? We'll just ballpark yeah. there. This car fully loaded is 42. So, but, 40, ba but base model is 36. What else do you get for 42? You can get a Mustang GT and you'd have more power, but you wouldn't have all this grip like this does. And you wouldn't have the functionality of having as a daily. Yeah, and hatchback and then the all-wheel drive system. And then long term, this car will hold its value way better than any Mustang GT would. Yeah. The front diff on this is open. Huh. It's not a limited slip. Interesting. I wonder why they do that. Sometimes Probably. open diffs in the front help rotate off acceleration. Probably. Maybe it's that. You can... They make an aftermarket LSD that you can put in it. So for those that are unfamiliar, uh, Ford does something where when you buy a new performance car from them, uh, like this, the GT350, the ST's also, right? The ST's, the Fiesta ST. Um, they're coming out with a program, actually, for the Raptor, too. Huh. And uh, they only do it at UMC, right? Yeah, they only do it at UMC. So here in Utah, we have a track called Utah Motorsports Campus, and they have the Ford Performance Driving School. When you buy a car like this from Ford, you get a free driving school adventure, essentially. Uh, they give you an autocross session and teach you. They give, well, they give you a lot, a lot of classes also, and instructors. They give you a full track session. Yeah. And they also, they do a drift session also, right, for yeah. some of the cars? Yeah. For this car, they teach, you know, they teach you how to use all the different driving modes. Um, you know, track, drift mode, launch control. They teach you how to, you know, do all that kind of stuff. How to use this car to its fullest ability. Yeah, how to use it to its full potential. So you do like a track session. Where 
I think you do almost their full course at UMC. Uh-huh. I want to say. I think uh, so. When I was there the other day, they did a, they had some Mustangs going around the full course. You know, and then they do an autocross session that they set up. And um, then I think on one of their, don't under their drift sections out of UMC, they teach how to use drift mode. Teach how to do all-wheel drive donuts. <laughs> That's just so cool that Ford does that. The fact that they're a manufacturer that's uh really pushing people to use their cars for what it is is awesome to me because yeah. they really do make a great driving tool here i mean it's so versatile it can it can do pretty much everything you want it, it, it does everything it does everything and i like cars that do everything i don't like cars that you can only race and not daily or you can only daily and not race i like a car that can do it all and these i'm a bigger guy but these these require cars are snug but they're not uncomfortable and oh they they hold you in they're not letting you go at all Maybe that crazy ex-girlfriend that just can't let you leave. <laughs> the driving position is great also. You got a great view of everything and where the car is. It really helps you visually place the car. And man, all, all the inputs, everything you touch in the car. The shifter feels great. It's nice and crisp. It kind of feels like my 350Zs. Is it a solid shifter from the factory? Do you know? Uh, I think so. Because it feels, yeah, it's not usually a rubber one. You still get a little bit of play regardless of how new it is. Oh boy, that's a big rock. And the pedals are perfect for, for heel towing and driving fast. Super easy to heel tow in this car. The steering's fast. The only thing that sucks is the steering, the, uh, the amount of steering angle you have is very low and lackluster. That's probably my only complaint about this car. My only legitimate complaint is that the very little uh, steering angle, you, can, you can't make it, you have to make a three point turn everywhere. So for this being a completely stock car, don't modify it guys, just, just leave it as is, it's perfect. Ford engineers, they did a good job with this. They went above and beyond and made an awesome performance car. And really, it's, it's hard to beat a car performance when you have engineers building it, a team of engineers. Because those guys went to school to study this stuff. And uh, they paid lots of money to do this and they did a very good job. I would not mess with this car at all. Maybe little things, but I wouldn't go crazy with it. it it's perfect as is. It is. It's so inviting driving it hard. Even like hard bumps like that don't don't phase you. The car just takes it. This is a great driving tool. BMW, get your shit together. Because this might be the ultimate driving machine right here. It's just a get in and drive car. I've said it like 40 times now, but I'm trying to get my point across get in, you drive it, you get engaged, you rip the nerves out of your fingers and plug it into the ECU here, and now you're hooked up to the car. That's what it feels like. Just so engaging. You know what the car's gonna do. You feel it take you along for a ride. Anyway, that's, that's the Forward Focus RS. One of the best cars ever made to this day now, in my opinion. Um, I hope you guys liked the review. Uh, if you liked it, leave a comment, leave a like, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. And thanks to Eric for letting me rip on his RS. <laughs> <laughs>